Hey guys, welcome back to our live reaction for Overlord Season 3, Episode 2. I'm Hells and Jeremy is Carrie. Yo! Alright, let's start in 3, 2, 1, go. We're changing policies again. Sasuga Einzai. What? This is because like in the first season He said something about like He wants to take over the wall Well, did he? I bet Momonga was like Yeah, that was like something I said, I guess But that was more of a joke And then the Yurge took it very seriously So I wonder what is the status of Mare and her siblings? Are they like sure up either. or something? War? I still don't get why Gilga meshes in this anime. What's happening to the Katras from the previous season? Who? From the previous season? The princess, or knight, everyone else. Oh, they were there, but like... I think something's changed in the kingdom at least. Because the princess made some deal with the, prince, the other guys. Oh my god, how embarrassing! Oh, finally. I haven't seen that in a while. What was that again? It's something to like calm him down if he's too agitated. Because he's a lich, so he can't be too agitated. So it's oh, yeah. like a force calm down or something. Oh crap! Dude! <laughs> so when you're flying. Oh, so we're going public.
Hmm. Oke, okay, let's not talk about that individual. No, he didn't. This is not a setup, right? Is that the first village? Yep. Oh, he was testing out the scales. Okay, the experimentation part was correct, but... It's a different kind of experiment. Oh, no. the goblin can talk now? I could have sworn the goblins was... Summoned from like uh, an item, right? Yeah, they're just summoned to guard the village. That's it. Ah, they were summoned to guard this girl and her brother or something. But like, you'd think a summon item, a summon would like have a time limit, right? Not just yeah. live however long. And if I remember correctly, if this is the same goblins as the one in the opening, there's like an entire village of them now. Kill all goblins! Oh well, that, that's a different anime. Why don't you ask Ains to just summon new villagers? What, have undeads? Of oh, goblins. Actually, I guess some of the lizardmen can live along as well. Yeah, that does not look like safe brewing whatever the, someone's cooking is at it. Wait, wait, how come he's still alive? I thought he's dead. Oh wait, he's alive, never mind. Is it a poison? Oh, God, the adventurer saved him, right? So it's poison, right? Oh, wow, she's very trusting of the goblin, honestly. Oh, wow. I get that you're like a goblin, a level goblin, but like, 
you give people advice and love as well? What the hell? Ah, oh, hey, hell no. I think she's stronger than him. Only good goblins are dead goblins. Oh, this is leader. I thought the leader was the one with energy this morning. What? It did not say that. I like how all the goblins actually like look different. You can probably tell all of them apart if they all stand in a line or something. We I don't know all of them. The humans like, they're all distinct. I mean, unlike let's say the civilians in the kingdom in the last season. You know, how come there are no other villagers? Like, 98% of them are goblins. But you saw two that aren't goblins just now. Yeah, what happened to the other two villagers that was out just now? No idea. Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, there they are. Oh, look at yeah, that. The one on the left, is there too? this one is definitely the ex, the ex adventurer. Oh wow, that's pretty good. What the heck? The hell out of those.
I don't know if you can call this a village anymore, considering you already have like walls and your own small army of militias. So who is the boss? This guy apparently. Wait, I thought his name is Jugem. No, no, this guy is Jugem. Kai Jali is the one with the scar. Oh, nicely done. One hundred percent not trustworthy. Do you, do you have to have We've the sparkle? We've seen that <laughs> Do you have to have the sparkle? Well, this is all striking the pose. Like ten percent? It's still not bad. Oh, nice. So this goblin with scar is game. That eh, Kali Kali Mali and that goblin with no scar is again. Mm, no, the one without uh, the the Jugem one is the one that leads all the goblins. Kai Jali is the one with the scar in this group. I don't remember the other two anymore. Oh. And that guy with Afro is Coco. Something like that. Was that not too hard to find, considering they're distinctly purple from the, compared to the rest of the grass around? Oh man, there. he works fast, very fast. Because he's used to this. I mean, he seems to be an alchemist, right? He's probably quite okay with botanical stuff. Yeah, he's a pharmacist. That's it. So she's much more into pharmacists and scholarly people than uh, physically strong people. It's a baby goblin! Ah, how the hell did you know? What the hell is that thing? The hell is a Bargus. Is that a Pokemon it's name? A, it's a bad fairy. You mean why the Barakist is, you know, this far inside the forest? No, yeah, maybe. Uh, let's just need your taking its course. No biggie. Oh, pretty good. So, what the hell is that? Glue? Stop him! Oh, 
Oh, it says comment spell. Yeah, that's not very strong, whatever it's called. So Lord Gaon is Ian's old Gaon? Yeah, Momonga. The mass Momonga. Yeah, so what is the rest of that tribe of yours? That snake! So this suddenly Claymore now? Uh. In Claymore, the... The... I forgot what they're called again, but like the beast thing? The beastman thing? Or like... Divided into four regions and then... Near the end of the anime series, they made an alliance or some shit? So this episode is also like mostly comedy and then it turns serious at the end. Actually it's supposed to be serious because you are talking about uh, ends all goal, uh, goal as the organization. But sure, I saw it doesn't know anything but, that comedy. But that almost didn't make any headway either. So. Yep. So I'm, I'm glad they're going back going to, to the... I miss victim. Which one? The, the disgusting baby one. Huh. Oh, victim? No! Wow, okay. I thought for some reason he is doing that finger pose this one. I'm just thinking like... That ending doesn't really show much. It's not like the one from last season where it showed more of the what's gonna happen or at least like the arcs. Here it just shows like these are the characters that may show up in this anime series. Which is also the ones in the opening, right? Because you saw Gilgamesh, sort of. Uh, someone from this kingdom, someone from another kingdom. And then the goblins and the dress of Idol Gown. So we don't actually get spoiled much in the opening and ending this time around. But yeah, uh, I'm glad they went back to like, uh, we're showing you stuff in detail because we can. Which is good. Um, I still don't have no idea like where this shit is going story wise. I only know that they're going to face off with either both of the kingdoms or like help this kingdom fight the other kingdom because that's where it seems to be going but we'll see how it goes anyway that's it for this week's episode guys we'll see you guys next week bye